Oh, my word. You know what? I'm going to throw my little lambs out. And Guys, welcome to the show. My name is Jeannie D, and this is Afternoon Express. I hope that you are having a tremendous Tuesday afternoon. Now, this is the Afternoon Express cook along where we prepare our dinner with you live on air. And today, we've invited Chef Hope Malau back to our loft to uh, get us and guide us in the kitchen. And we are making a Mediterranean inspired feast. The hero of today's recipe is, of course, the humble olive, because I've I don't know about you, but I've been fantasizing about being on holiday in some Greek island or the Mediterranean somewhere, Italy, Sicily. And, you know, we'll I Jeannie feel in. like if Jeannie can't go to Greece, <laughs> Greece, Greece must come to Jeannie. There we go. <laughs> and we literally are. We're traveling quite a bit today. We're going to be doing, first of all, a beautiful yellowtail, which is this guy over here. Yes. We're going to be doing him in the pan with, using our olive pride today. Serving Amazing. it with a Mediterranean-style potato salad. Great. and something called a remoulade. Okay. We're going to be like telling you what, what is a remoulade is. Well. I don't want to say right now. Oh, you're going to let I us know later. later. Oh, yes. well, there's reason to stay. <laughs> Find out what a remoulade is a little bit later. We learn something new every day on Afternoon Express. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking exciting. I hope you're well. I'm good. I'm good, hey? Up and about, yeah. Fabulous. Tell us a little bit about yellowtail. Good fish? Is it a fishy fish? Yellowtail has got that meaty taste and and good taste. It does. It's not okay. fishy, fishy as yeah. you as you as you would say. Yeah. But man, go to a good f uh, fishmonger to get good okay. quality. And I can see this one isn't very bony. It's not because the bones have been taken out. The yeah. pin bones. But in general, the. I wouldn't say yellowtail is not actually a very bony mm -hmm. fish. Okay. If you know where to look for it, you'll be perfectly fine. And you'll get it just like this from your fishmonger. They'll take it off completely. This, this is filleted and they'll do that for you. Okay. I find something like that quite intimidating when it comes to looking like a fish. But today we're going it to... It doesn't have eyes. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that your best part? I know a lot of people's best part is the head. Yeah. Yes. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, today, to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phone, simply SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs are one round fifty each, and no free SMSs apply. Plus, our lines are open on 021-430-9881. If you've got any culinary questions, or if you get stuck along the way, and the show is streaming live on YouTube right now, so keep your device with you in the kitchen and follow along. Cook with us this afternoon. And then, to accompany this fresh and vibrant meal, we are preparing a delicious citrusy spritzer. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, because I mean, who says you can't drink spritzers in winter? You really can. So Absolutely. I'm going to combine the best of citrus right now, this amazing citrus on shelf right yeah. now, with some elderflower cordial, a little bit of MCC, you know, optional, but really great Beautiful. for winter. It's quite, I mean, it's five o'clock almost. Yeah. So, and a bit of a twist on the topping as well. I'm really okay. happy to make this one. A wintry, summery, happy drink. And of course, with all the citrus in it, we're not going to get sick this winter. You're not going to get sick. Basically, drink this for breakfast, lunch and dinner and you'll be fine. Oh, amazing. Thank you. I like that. <laughs> if you want to make this sparkly citrus delight for yourself at home, also SMS the keyword DRINK to 33650 and we'll send you the recipe directly to your phone. SMSs, one round fifty each, no free SMSs apply. And then... Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? Our special guest for today is best remembered as Nicholas from Generations, remember the bad boy, and the character we all loved to hate. Actor and social entrepreneur Tato Malamu is a far cry from his on-screen persona in the popular SABC One soapy, and he has used his platform as an entertainer to launch Gateway Media, a company that specializes in initiatives that focus on social and economic development. His next big project is to open the first township film academy in Gauteng called the Leaders in Motion Ca Academy. Boy. 
a man. He raped me. I can't let him get away with that. You don't really want to be free. We were raped in prison. I thought we could share freedom together. Welcome to the show. <laughs> it's so funny watching you play like such a bad guy because you're actually such a softy and you've got such a baby face. And yet, I mean, Nicholas was bad. Yeah, yeah. No, he was a bad boy. Um, didn't get me a lot of fans uh, that loved me or appreciated me in the streets. Um, but uh, but yeah, it was it was it was one of uh, my groundbreaking roles that I played on uh, one yeah. of the biggest soaps at the time. Yeah. You know. But I mean, you are an actor's actor. I mean, you're yeah. a thespian because yeah. your acting yeah. goes all the way to the beginning, and of yeah. course, yeah. your love was a theatre. Theatre. Yes. Yes. So when did you when did the acting bug bite? Uh, 1996, uh, in Mafike, they launched a kiddies program at the Northwest Arts Council. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, because the, the then government had embraced the creative sector as a whole. So we had a lot of access to well-known, renowned theatre practitioners. And I was introduced to, like, Shakespeare around 1998. Uh, my first performance at Grahamstown was um, the year 2000, and I was still in Standard 9 at the time. I don't know yeah. what they call it, in like grade 11. Yeah. Um, you know, so, so I guess for me, it, it taught me quite a lot of discipline, you yeah. know, and love for the craft. To, you know, understanding the importance of time, preparation, character development. Yeah. And, um, and yeah, it, it gave me a head start. I must exactly. Say. Yeah. And, of course, you were then chosen out of so many kids yeah. to then yeah. go across to London. What was that for? Uh, Brett Golding Bursary. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if you do know about Brett Golding. Uh, he was a Cape Town actor yeah. uh, who was then murdered at the time, yeah. and he was supposed to be on his way to the Royal Shakespeare Company. And uh, through that, the Royal Shakespeare Company created a bursary yeah. where South African actors can get an opportunity to go to the Royal Shakespeare Company, get yeah. to learn, get to experience the space. And um, I was uh, one of the 20 that was, uh, that we wrote in, obviously we write in, you come in audition. And uh, through audition process, I was fortunate enough to be the winner, the recipient, to, to go down there and uh, get to meet the thespians. That know. is incredible. Yeah, yeah. And what is it like? Do you just focus on Shakespeare the whole time? Um, yeah, at the Royal Shakespeare, you focus on yeah. Shakespeare all the time. You get to watch shows. Um, I mean, I was taught movement, speech, vocal, um, um, training, and just get a, an inside depth of Shakespeare. You know, yeah. I got to go to his house. I got to meet the founders of uh, the Royal Shakespeare Company. Um, I got to meet such amazing people there. And it's such a beautiful place. I remember I went to go and visit Stratford-upon-Avon. Yes, yes, Which yes, is yes. where Shakespeare lived and yeah, died with yeah, his family. Yeah, yeah. And it was such a, it's such a beautiful place. Such and I think the, the place, Shakespearean yeah. era is also so beautiful and romantic. It is. But as an actor, it's really difficult. It is. Like, didn't you find it difficult to remember the words? Um, I don't know. I think I've been blessed to, you know, my mind just is very quick with words. You yeah. know, if you give me a script now, I, 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 five minutes. You just I remember it. it. Yeah. So uh, with Shakespeare, when I started, it was difficult, you know. So yeah. I got to then understand what it's about, the emotions behind. I think he's one of the fantastic writers that, you know, underrated. And I guess a lot of kids, I, I really hope that they start to read Shakespeare work. Because yeah. we don't do it a lot now in school. Yeah. And I really wish that it could come back into the school curriculum. Yeah. Yeah. You know, because that's like well written. When I was at school, I actually did. Was it Baz Luhrmann who did the Shake um, um, Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and with, Juliet with, yeah. um, with Leo DiCaprio? Yeah. I yeah. did that as my set work at oh, school. Was it? <laughs> yeah, but I enjoyed it. It was really, really good. But now I think it's. I mean, you are such a phenomenal actor. But now you've taken yeah. a little bit of break from acting to focus yeah. on something that is. I mean, when I was going through all of the research, <laughs> wow, what an yeah. outstanding project. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your, your academy? Um, uh, so Leadership, uh, Leaders in Motion Academy yeah. um, uh, is established under the South African Creatives Industries Incubator, which is the first creative incubator built in the township. Yeah. Um, uh, the whole process of the South African Creatives Incubator is that, you know, you wanted to give access to kids, yeah. right, who want to know what the sector itself is about. And also certified uh, 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 um, courses that we, we, we're doing there. So so we had a film one, but it was very short. So we thought, hey, why don't you really just extend? Because you can't really teach film in two or three weeks. No. You know, because the skills itself just take a lot of practice and you need to be in the field. Yeah. And uh, that's how Leaders in Motion uh, came about uh, with my partners, Beth and Freddie, um, who are, you know, I mean, they've been in Yesteras. And Yesteras is, uh, is uh, the only colored community in Pretoria uh, and had so much bad negativity. But they had built the Swanee Music School at the time and ran mm. there for six years. And I mean, I got to see young kids performing um, classical music. 
and they learn wow. it all from the school. And I'm like, there's, there's actually just possible, if you just give kids access to stuff, let them train, let them be skilled, yeah. uh, let them know how to create their own economy, right? Because of, I mean, there's been a lot of cries that everyone now has to kind of like sure. move to Joburg if you want to be in the film sector, yeah. you know, but yet Pretoria is the capital city of, uh, you know, South Africa. We needed to have an industry there. So uh, that's why then we started the first township uh, film academy. Amazing. Yeah. And it's certified. So do you come up with the curriculum on your, by yourself or do you, do you work? with other films. Uh, we work with other film uh, uh, accredited individuals. Uh, we also have a partner, the University of Pretoria, yeah. um, who are helping us obviously now to create an entrepreneurial um, 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 course. You know, because for us it's not enough to give you skills, but you also need to be able to run a business, you know, understand the structure of business. That is the smartest yeah. thing ever. Like, yeah. I went to art school and I think, you know, when you, when you teach people either drama or music yeah. or ballet, yeah. you need to teach them how to monetize it, how they can actually Correct. turn a business Correct. into their skill. Correct, correct. Well, yeah, turn the skill into a business. Yeah, into a business. And I guess for us, that, that was the most important thing, is that you know, I had to take it from, from my own personal story yeah. when I started my company, Gateway Media. And some of the challenges that I had, because I think creatively nothing. Exactly. I want the big lights, I want all these things, and not understanding that everything, you need to have a proper budget. You know, so That's my production manager used to complain and me. say, <laughs> you're spending, you can't do that. I'm like, why can't I do it? Let's do it. You yeah. know, then you say, you're not then going to be able to, to sustain if yeah. you carry on this way. So then I took myself then to business school. I'm going to be doing my postgrad, um, you, you know, soon also. So, so I got to understand that you need to mix business and film together. Then exactly. that way you're able then to create a sustainable economy. I mean, it's, I want to come and study at your, at your film academy. <laughs> but kids obviously have to audition, so they've got to have some level of talent. Yeah. And also, it's free for them. Is it completely yeah. subsidised? Yeah. So you're taking care of everything, from how they're getting to the academy. Correct. Food, looking... I mean, how are you able to do that? Um, I mean, we, 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 we had to speak to corporates, uh, we had to speak yeah. to government, we had to speak to personal individuals to say, please invest in this thing, right? Because of it's, it's not easy for, 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 for a child in the township to get access to, no. you know, to the film schools. But rather than being a person that complains, rather let's, I, I like solutions, yes. right? I don't like to be now sitting in a corner and say, this one is not doing that, this one is not doing that. If ever then we've got access to government people or corporates, you say, hey, here's a platform, here's some land, here's a building, let's turn it into an academy. Yeah. And I think people have been accepting. And even now, we're still on the fundraising um, um, journey, you know, still talking to people just to commit, because we want to say Amazing. commit long term. Right, the ROI is that um, you know we, we've got now skills that are quite scarce. Yeah. You know, um, especially in the township, have, it, have, have an economy there. Then we stop complaining about traffic coming into town. You know, mm. we stop saying that no, Joburg is full. You know, there's so many people that are here, and all the broadcasters can't really take the content that all these young producers are kind yeah. of going to pitch. And you know, so we want to also teach them on how to pitch, how to prep a business plan, how to do Amazing. all of these things. So 18 to 35, it's Tswane based. Yeah. Um, you know, and it's for the Tswane kids. You know, that will want to be in film. Uh, the selection process itself is that we want to see a portfolio for work that you've done. We need to know that okay, he's you. So put, they must have already had yeah, some had interest some, in... Yeah, okay. you know, because we've asked people to invest in you. So if um, people are investing, we need to be sure, you know, that uh, you want to put in the time. I mean, what a beautiful, beautiful project. I really yeah. wish you the best. I hope you come back and let us know how it grows and how it builds. Yeah, in September, How many kids have you got doors. in there at the moment? Um, now, uh, we've selected out of 60, uh, 15. Okay. Yeah, 15. So it's quite, it's tough to get in, but I mean, it'll be absolutely worth it because it these kids will it be will. able, well, almost, well, not guaranteed a job yeah. in the industry, but they'll be able to create their own work. We want them to create their own work. Yeah. You know, we don't want uh, people that are dependent. We don't want to have a nation of Sasa card holders. You know, we want people yeah. that are able to say, I've got the skills, I'm going to turn this into, into money. Yeah. So we obviously, I mean, you're doing, you're doing such amazing work. So thank you thank so you. much. Thank I think you. that's thank really you. great. I look forward to seeing it grow. Thank you for being with us today. We're thank going to be having, having quite a jewel in the kitchen. Hey? I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> now head over to our social media platforms and answer our question for the day. Who is your favourite villain or bad guy on TV? Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. After the break, it's time to put Tata to the test in our kitchen with the Afternoon Express cook-along. We'll be right back. <laughs>
pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. If you've just joined us, good timing because we've got the amazing Tato in the kitchen with us. We've also got a little bit of hope and we've got a great spread about to happen. Now, on our cook along today, we are going to be transporting you to the Mediterranean shores with a, a Moorish dish of yellowtail and olive mm. salsa. And we are adding a touch of pride with the use of olive pride blend of seed oils and stuffed green pimiento olives. And of course, it is the quintessential ingredients to use for this dish. And to add to this delicious recipe to your dinner repertoire, simply SMS the keyword Clover to 33650 to get the list of ingredients sent to you. Plus, our lines are open on 021-430-9881. If you've got any culinary questions, or if you get stuck along the way, or if you want to chat to your favorite villain, just mm -hmm. call me. <laughs> okay, let's get started with our yellowtail. How are your, your skills uh, in the My skills, kitchen? Oof, they were good um, until five years ago. What happened? What happened five years ago? I started to travel. Oh. So I didn't, I didn't get time to be in the kitchen as much as I used to. Yeah. Do you know what my favorite <laughs> dish is? Roll over and dial nine. <laughs> 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 Nothing quite like room service. Okay, so do you like fish? Yeah, I love fish. Do I you love, love the Mediterranean? Oh, I love the Mediterranean. <laughs> <laughs> do you, why do you think a Mediterranean woman? <laughs> <I'm joking>. <laughs> <laughs> Don't answer that. Okay, let's get started with the fish. All right, cool. So we're using yellowtail today, but I say you can use any sustainable fish. Okay. That's very important. Sustainability is everything. So you get, you, um, Sassy's got a list. It's on, there's a green list, an uh, orange list, and a red list. All right. Obviously, green being a fish which is safe enough to, you, to eat, yeah. Because sustainable, red, you do not touch. Okay. Those are species that are literally on the brink of extinction. So does what, what is the orange? Yeah. The, the orange is like kind of like that, eh, rather not, Probably rather not, shouldn't. rather done. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool. So another one, interesting fact, when you're buying fish, it's very important you have to use all your senses. First thing is, smell it. Does that smell fishy at all, truthfully? Uh -uh. No, it shouldn't really? smell fishy, it's a smell of, of the ocean. Very, very important. You look at me like, no, you look at me like, okay, that, cool. Because I mean, all fish smells like fish to me. Come on. Oh, but that isn't fish. Yeah, I get it. Okay, yeah, it smells yeah, yeah. like yeah. fish. Then, next okay. thing is to kind of run your finger along it, okay? It should feel okay. sheeny, like a little bit of slime. That's not normal. scaly, like yeah, but my But it should boyfriend. not be extremely slimy that you're literally like <laughs> mopping off the slime, okay? okay and then okay. press the fish, and if that flesh pops back, like that, you're good. Okay. If it leaves a fingerprint right there, it's only good for fricadels. <laughs> okay, it's a, it's a pop fish. Don't buy it. Do you know okay. if you do that to a human and it leaves, oh, like me? It's, okay, can you see? If you do yeah, that yeah, and it leaves yeah, a mark, yeah. it means I'm retaining water. Interesting. See, Interesting. You learn something Look new that. on the show <laughs> right. every day. So we've taken the head off today. <laughs> Just because we want to rather work with the fillet, but look at the eyes. The eyes will be very glossy. Look at the gills, nice and blood red. You know you got a good fish. We've got a very good fish today. So okay. let's talk about how we're going to prep Such this guy. Such a catch. Such a catch. Look at that. <laughs> so we're going to keep the skin on. I like the skin on there, just because you build like texture. It holds the fish together. I say a lot of people say if you're going to, if you're not used to eating fish, start with hake. I disagree completely. Start with yellowtail. It's a very okay. forgiving fish. It's hard to overcook it. Mm -hmm. I'll say that, but a few restaurants that have done a horrible job. But it's nice and firm, like a steak. You can cook a steak, you can cook this fish. Yeah. Right, okay. cool. I want to take this little bit of belly off over there. It just doesn't have a lot of meat that's on there. And get your, your fishmonger to take the bones out for you, so you're not going to be messing with the bones and scaling. The worst okay. thing you can ever do is take a fish on that hasn't been scaled. Okay. You're going to find scales in the kitchen for the next year, in places yeah. you didn't even yeah. know you had in the kitchen, and on your person, OK? Get your fishmonger to do that. So now we're going to go straight down the middle. I'm going to cut these into like nice little chunks, because you're going to cook this for me. Oh, this is oh, all okay. you. This is all you. Okay. Okay. So let me just get through that. Pretend screen. it's five years ago, you. Okay. <laughs> all right. Tell him the time of cooking it, please. Okay. Before you overcooks it as well. <laughs> no, no, no. So again, I like to say cook it like a steak. You cook it skin side for okay. about three minutes, and then flesh side for about two. Oh, so seven. All right. Okay. okay. You got okay. this. It's very easy. So hey, I hope while I'm busy portioning the fish, you want to talk about our remoulade. Yeah. Okay. So the remoulade is actually uh, mayonnaise based. Uh, dressing for potatoes, all right? Ooh. So we're going to be mixing olives, some capers, some anchovies. Anchovies, some people hate them, but then it's actually good because it adds that tiny wiggy of fishiness, yeah, but then saltiness. It's actually a seasoning, good, good, a good seasoning. Okay. And then some paprika, we're going to use uh, 
paprika, normal paprika, and smoked paprika, both of them together, they make. Is this Beautiful for like sound. the sauce to go in a potato salad? salad? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what do we do? Do you want help with it? Well, okay. So I think we should chop this guys up yeah. a little bit. I think so All right. too. Yeah. How like in quarters? Yeah, let's do quarters. Okay. All right. And then we've got garlic as well. Let me do the garlic. There's uh, roasted garlic. Yeah. What do you mean you're going to do it? I'm going to chop it up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Can you chop up roasted garlic? I mean, yeah. I Why not? It, well, I thought it would go all <laughs> smooshy when you chop it up. There it is. There you go. Okay. There you go. No. This is gonna be. This is gonna be great. These are honestly my favorite flavor combinations, and of course, eating Mediterranean with all of the olive oil and the fish, it's really light and very, very healthy for you too. Yeah. So I'm gonna chuck this into the mayonnaise. All right. Olives That's, as well. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Do that. And then. As well, that goes into the potatoes. It's the uh, other stuff, which is the herbs. Yeah. Got more olives. Amazing. Oh, well, what am I chopping those ones for? <laughs> Can I use these? Okay, go or for it. Or must I chop them? Go for it. Okay, I'm go just being it. lazy. Right. Yeah, well, that's take not the, for the shortcut. potatoes, no? That's not for the potatoes, that's for the remoulade. So, <laughs> look at you guys like blending two recipes <laughs> into one. So, that's your remoulade done. But, guys, I just want to say, you, you're approaching the pan with such confidence. Okay, yeah, yeah. I feel like you've just like you, you've been pranking me. You've got so much finesse in the kitchen. Thank yeah. you very much. And you're doing this I'll really try. well. I'll try. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> I'm just motivated there by the. What the have you put it in? So we just dusted a little bit of flour, a little salt and pepper. What I'm really impressed about most is the fact that I didn't even have to tell you to place it down skin side first. You did that automatically, which is very important. The reason for that, I know, how amazing. The reason why, once you crisp up your skin, which can actually be your presentation side, it also kind of stops your fish from just flaking into oh. nothing. It holds the fish yeah. together. Yeah. So just like a steak, once it hits the pan, leave it. Let it do its thing. It'll tell you when it's ready. You'll smell it. You'll smell like it's a nice nutty flavor coming off the flour that you put in there. Okay. And you're going to start seeing a little bit of brown happening around the corners. For okay. now, we're good. I'm actually going to heat up a little bit. Actually, no. Let me leave it just like you've done such a good job. Okay. So it's quite important to see like how much meat you get out of one fish. When you buy um, beef or lamb or chicken, there's a mm -hmm. lot of bones, skin that you discard. Yeah, yeah, with, the, yeah. with the fish, you got that centerpiece, which is literally super light, that gets okay. us away. The rest of it is all meat. Amazing. So I think it's really, uh, it's a budget saving yeah. ingredient. Yeah. And you are quite a fan of fish. In fact, I heard a little story that when you went to London, and you tried sushi for the first time. That was quite an interesting experience. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. Um, so I thought that uh, was it was ever. Right? <laughs> it was also something that's, you know, because I love ever. So I just, you know, I spread it. And, you know, my, so my friend Jose was like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, of course I'm sure. So I spread, went in, uh, dropped a couple of tears uh, in the process. <laughs> One of my most embarrassing moments. But uh, since then, I grew a love for sushi, you know, so I love fish, I love fish, you know? Still well, good the time. only tears you'll be crying today are tears of joy because of this absolutely delicious recipe. Like Clem, that. let's just quickly summarize what we've done. Okay, cool. So with so, the fish, you've cut up your yellowtail. Mm -hmm. Into some flour, salt and pepper. We heated up the pan of the olive fry uh, mixed seed blend because we can actually shallow fry in that. That's gone. It's starting to cook. I can see the beautiful opaqueness like moving up the fish. It means we're almost ready to start turning over. Okay. You guys made that remoulade. I don't know what you got from that remoulade. I'm going to guess. You got some paprika, smoked paprika in there, olives, anchovies, you got some garlic, and you got the mayonnaise. And a bit of chili. A bit of, a bit of yeah. chili. And a bit and of lemon, you got to do good. Throw all of that in as well. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And now so me... I'm going to mix it all up. Okay. And when we come back, we're going to start working on the potato salad. Oh. And then we're going to be like almost eating. That's a good thing about fish. Cook so quickly, we're going to be having dinner like in five minutes. Oh, you see. Wow. All of us on Afternoon Express Cook Along, we look so good because we eat so good. We can't <laughs> wait to eat this fantastic, fantastic dish. We're going to take a quick break. And when we return, we get stuck into that tater salad. Yeah. Yum. Mm. Just for
Pride brings a touch of pride and the natural beauty of olive oil tea on table. Made with love by Clover. Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Of course, it's our tasty Tuesday cook-along. And we have got sensational actor Tato Malamo in the loft with us. And we've got some hope as well. And, of course, a really, really tasty spread with our Mediterranean fish and potato salad. And, of course, to get today's recipe and shopping list sent directly to your phones, all you need to do is simply SMS the keyword Clover to 33650. SMSs are one rand fifty each. No free SMSs apply. Plus, our lines are open on 021-430-9881. Okay, the fish looks nearly done. Yeah, let's yeah. talk about the fish real, real quick. So, when people understand, when you cook fish or steak, right? Yeah. If you're cooking it to medium rare, you don't want to cook it to medium rare in the pan because it's going to continue cooking. That's why a lot yeah. of people end up cooking fish and they take it out and they wonder why it's dry. It's because you cooked it to the doneness in the pan, yet there's so much heat around the fish, oh. it continues cooking. When you take it out, it carries on cooking. It carries on cooking. Why? Because there's so much heat passing through the, the, the fish itself that once you take it out, there's enough heat in there to still continue cooking the fish. Okay. Very important. Don't be trying experiments with chicken, though. Cook your chicken through. Okay. Cook your chicken through. Okay. 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 Just okay. a bit of advice. Okay. So let's talk about that. So this is a like a brilliant piece that you cook for us. You can see there's a bit of pinkness in there. All right? That hat yeah. must be. That's cool. So I'm going to give it like 30 seconds, and then I'm going to say you're done. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Now potato salad. Yeah. Potato salad. All right, so... You know what you're doing, man. <laughs> I'm okay. very, very proud of your cooking skills. Do me a favor. Could you With mix pleasure. that in there? Yes. And then we're going to pop some... Okay. What? So let's quickly okay. recap what was in here. What's going on? Um, okay, so what Jeannie's done is Jeannie's added our remoulade sauce to the potato mm -hmm. salad. But we're all about switching things up, and this yeah. is live TV. Oh, well, this is supposed to be on the side. So, so, so it's okay. Yeah, so up, this was supposed to be the sauce we served ah, with the fish. Ow. But... But you see, on live TV, we, do, we, we, make, we make things happen. So what I'm going to ask you, Hope, on yeah. the spot, you've yeah. got ingredients in front of you. Yeah. How about you make us like a nice vinegary, like, Yay! dressing? I mean, just, just make it your... Jeannie, you know what? That's probably going to be the best potato salad we ever had. OK. All right, so, so Hope, talk us through this on the spot vinegary Decision. that you're going to make for us. No pressure. Cool. I think this is going to be amazing. I think so, too. All right. It looks amazing. All right, so I'm going to squeeze some lemon juice in here. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Some lemon. Ah. I feel like I was set up for this little disaster. <laughs> <laughs> some olives. Okay, then I'm going to add some great. green in here. Yeah, All right, like some the in olives. There. Then some vinegar as well. Right. Mix it up. Oopsie, oopsie, oopsie. Yeah. Ooh, yum. Now, Actually, this so, is going to work out even better. Yeah. <laughs> so remember, when you're SMSing that keyword for this recipe, you're going to get the original one, not Jeannie's version. <laughs> yeah. You know what? You can't go wrong because of that, the flavours in that dressing are really good. Really good. This is going to be a very, very good potato salad. Okay. <laughs> now tell me if this is good or not. All right. All right. I'm going to give that a taste. I'm going to yeah. give it a taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Thank goodness we have two chefs in the kitchen, right? Thank yeah. you. That's so good. 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 So I'll tell you what, what I'm actually going to do. I like what exactly you've done. Let's actually put the fish in that bowl. How about we do that? So, chef, okay. can I ask you to do that? And then I really like that, that I can go that bowl. Like, use some tongs for you, maybe a little easier. Ah. And I actually want to spoon that dressing over the fish. Over the fish. Because okay. it's still really yeah. hot and it's going to be absorbing all the flavours. Lucky for you, spooning is something I'm very good at. Uh, <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so, all right. Look, guys, no, in honesty, I'm pretty sure it's going to be super amazing. There you go. So another thing too, like when you're deep frying, um, you'll notice, okay, very important, try and get okay. as much flour off the fish before it goes into the pan. When you take the fish out, you're left with that flour that's in the pan, and that oh, goes bitter. Okay. Okay. But I mean, that's great. And it's also very important to like change your oil. Don't try, especially when you, if you're frying uh, chicken, I'm if you're trying frying chicken, it's okay yeah. to reuse the oil, just strain okay. it off. But with fish, I'm gonna say no. It gets that like that fishy flavor in the in the oil. Am I right, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes not. Sometimes not. Okay. Guys, I don't know about you, but I actually think that everything happens for, for a reason. reason. And this is outstanding. The smell coming off of this fish. It's just so beautiful. This is great. 
You're a genius. You should put this in your book. What's my name? <laughs> What's yeah, my me. name? Oh, no, I... <laughs> we work really well as an improv team. Yeah. Wow. And you know what? This is so nice. Even if we drizzle more olive oil on there, it's yes. oh, this Some, is going to be amazing. Your bench, like squeeze over that fish. Oh, a little like uh, my bed squeeze. Yeah. When you okay. squeeze, can I just show you a tip? Come, my squeeze. Just squeezer. put your, your hand over so that the pits don't fall into the fish. Ah. Okay, let me. I'm, I'm gonna let you, you go. You go. You so got this. So we go yeah. right. <laughs> between your hands. Between, between your hands. Yeah, yeah. So ah. that the fingers catch the the pits. Okay. Okay. Ah okay. ha. Oh, this is delish. So you could play a chef in the next like movie or TV series that you do. I'm just saying, Ooh. just calling out, yeah? You play the meanest guys. Okay, so at the moment you're playing the role of a cop. Yeah. And you got your dad's girlfriend pregnant. Well, 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 well listen. <laughs> um, <laughs> you just happened? have a lot of fun with these villain roles, though. No, no, I do, I do, I do. I'm, uh, but I mean, for, for the, this was actually the, the first good character that I played. And I guess maybe oh, sometimes a lot of people were kind of like... Good at what? <laughs> well, good at uh, taking my dad's woman <laughs> and uh, getting her pregnant <laughs> at yeah. the time. But uh, it was one of actually my most challenging roles. Um, you know, just trying to always be the calm one, the one who's always m more reasonable, you know? Yeah. Someone who, you know, you think before you make decisions. So yeah. I guess for me, that was, that was one of the things. Did Amazing. You like Did you like it? No? No, no I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I was just thinking about thinking before you make decisions. Their dad's wants I was just safe. thinking about that potato <laughs> salad, about how we... But, but, you know what? What am I, I going to do with this? We're going to dish it into a nice big bowl for yeah. you. It is going to be very delicious, it's by great. the way. I mean, I mean, we've got such amazing flavors of those potatoes. Mm. It can't not be. Let's yeah. add a bit of a spin on the rest. Almonds, almonds. Oh, I want a bit of almonds on the you. fish as well. So just to remind people what we actually put in that dressing, Hope. Yeah. Will you remind us? All right, so the dressings, there's paprika, mayonnaise, anchovies, and yeah, and olives. Yeah. <laughs> okay. A little bit of chili. Yeah. So how would you have done it differently? Would you have used that sauce on that fish? Just to serve with the fish on the side and then create a nice vinegary a kind of a German style potato salad. Okay. So a lot of lemon juice, sort of olives, chocolate olives, capers, anchovies. So it's like a non-creamy potato ah. salad because you got the creaminess from oh. that remoulade well, already. Got the creamy already. Potatoes yeah. kind of thing. You know what? You know what? Absolutely, it's gonna. We're gonna love it. I just feel like a potato salad should be a bit creamy. <laughs> so that's how it is now. Okay, but now I'm. I've never actually had. This is yellowtail. Yellowtail. Yeah. So what is a quick? I feel like you guys know a lot about fish. Mm -hmm. What is a good guide when you're going to a restaurant and you don't know which fish to order? Like like me. I like I always. Mm -hmm. Go for king clip because I don't know what no. I'm going for, like the rest of the time. Well, I don't know what I'd be getting. Sure. So, I mean, I'd say if you're a beginner fish eater, again, I say go for yellowtail. It's not a very fishy fish. Okay. Okay. King clip as well. It's got a very neutral set of flavor. Salmon actually has a lot of oil in it, so yeah. it is a very fishy fish. So yeah. start there. I like asking the restaurant what's the catch of the day. You know that came in fresh. Whereas if a menu has a set king clip dish on the mm -hmm. menu. Chances are they could have got that fish in two days ago, it's going to be on the menu anyway. Mm. But if you're getting catch of the day, that walked and walked okay. in, swam through the door this morning, <laughs> guaranteed <laughs> it's going to be the freshest fish on the menu. Okay. So that's definitely my go-to. As well, as well, if you're a meaty person and you don't like, you don't like, you, you're not into, into fish that much, I would say uh, go for, what do you call this, trout? Trout, oh, yeah. Trout. Yeah. 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 A trout. Or uh, what's that other one, the brown one? Which sea one? bass is a really good Sea bass one. is good. Yeah. Dorado. Yeah. D Dorado is good. Dorado, Dorado, Dorado is on the green list. Yeah. Sea bass, I think we need to look at that one. It might be on the orange it, list. Yeah. yeah. So Jeannie, well, where have I'm not going to be eating <laughs> sea bass. <laughs> 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 <Arrogant. laughs> but get to know your, your fishmonger as well. The fishermen, I mean, we've got so many amazing um, fish stores in Durban, Cape Town, and Joburg. Believe it or not, Joburg, you are getting good fish. The same fish that's being delivered to Joburg, is yeah. being yeah. delivered to Cape Town and Durban. Remember, the fishermen are catching those fish and freezing them immediately. Okay. And that's the same fish we're getting. So, Joba, eat your fish. Okay, yeah. so there's fresh fish in Joburg too. That's really, really great news. Okay. Thank you so much. All right, remember to SMS the keyword clover to 33650 if you would like to give this recipe a go. And if you missed it, here is a quick recap of all the steps. <laughs>
Made with love by Clover. And if you're wondering why my potato salad didn't look like that potato salad, it's because I'm a real gem in the kitchen. <laughs> All right, on social media, we want to know from you who is your favorite villain or bad guy on TV. Tweet us at Afternoon Chat using the official hashtag Afternoon Express or comment on our Facebook page. After the break, we make a really refreshing citrus spritzer to accompany this Mediterranean feast. <laughs> <Yum>. <laughs> What the fridge? Shut the front door, Winter Home is back. Yes, the fifth season of Winter Home is looking for contestant design duos. <laughs> and this year it's happening in the glorious cape. If you think you have what it takes to serve up some design razzle and dazzle and have the eye for details, mm. then apply now to be one of the design duos, each decorating an apartment in Somerset West. Competing for the title of Best Design Duo and stand the chance of winning a cash prize worth 100,000 Rand! Season 5 of Winner Home is looking for three design duos who will decorate three penthouse apartments on the Pont de lifestyle estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. For details of how to apply, go to winnerhome.tv. This is your opportunity to make a name for yourself in the South African interior design industry and make the stage yours. Apply now to be a design contestant duo on winnerhome.tv. Coming soon to SABC3. The stage is yours! Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Of course, it's our fabulous, tasty Tuesday cook-along. Always my favorite day of the week, and we have so much fun in this kitchen. Now, <clears throat> citrus fruits are in season, of course, and how fitting, seeing as vitamin C is perfect for keeping the sniffles away. So today, Clem will be preparing a drink bursting with citrus flavor, and will ha have you wanting more and more and more. It's mm -hmm. great. It's really, I mean, this looks so complicated. It is, it's really not. So this part, I've got some water and I've got some sugar. We're going to start off with a nice citrusy syrup. Okay. Pass me something. What do you want to pass me? What, what citrus fruit do you want to uh, go for? The clementine? Let's start with clementines because Clem is my best. <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Can I, can I throw another one in there? <laughs> no. Okay, good. Cool. I, need, I can only this. handle two. <laughs> so, so many times we often just use the flesh and not actually the outer skin. And that's where, like, so much of the flavor actually is, more than the actual flesh. 
and then we're going to just use a veggie peeler. So easy. Okay. Okay, because you're not going to eat that, so let's you do something with it. And we're going to zest it, but just be sure not to get this white area over here, that's the pith. Okay? <laughs> uh, like, I feel like you want to say it. Pith. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I want the, the, that's extremely bitter, so you don't want to add that to your drink at all. So add it to your pot. Then let's see what else we got. We got some lemons. Okay. So sometimes people think like, oh, I you, don't... You know you're using the wrong part, part of the fruit, right? <laughs> don't no, take no, no. the pith. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just taking the pith with me, man? Stop it, man. Stop it. Okay, cool. So some people, like, they say, okay, cool, I don't have any lemons. Can I just use limes instead? Look, if... <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have any limes at home or lemon, it's fine. But for this dish, actually try using all of it, okay? Yeah. Lime has a very different flavor to lemon, and you want to incorporate all of those flavors into this drink. That's one of my pet hates, when you ask for lime and you get lemon. I mean, if you, when you order it, yeah, exactly. I mean, when, li when life hands you lemons, just take lime instead. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more. Let's go for the grapefruit. Grapefruit is oh, one I of my favorite. I love grapefruit. And my also... gin is grapefruit flavored, so oh, is I mean, it? I'm okay. a huge fan of grapefruit. There you go. So. You now get so them, you. you now get them, which is the normal one that we know, but you also get a sweeter version as well now. Really great. You can have a look at that so long while I'm busy taking... Sweet grapefruit. It is crazy. Goodness gracious, I you have know to what? taste this. So you, I, I think you take two home. What do they taste home. like? Can I open these? I haven't tried them yet. I just saw them today and I'll oh, have no. to get them. Well, we must. Okay. <laughs> it would be rude not to. All right, so while you're having a bit of an experiment, you've got your knife there. Okay. Citrus and cardamom, really like great. Best friends, that's going to impart like a nice flavor. And really, I can smell it. Like the citrusy vibe and the cardamom. I really am interested. I want to see what you say. Here goes. Go for it, go for it. I'm I really ready. hope it is sweet because it would be really awful if I pull that expression of like... You didn't pull your face. That is delicious. Is it? Okay, all right. And do you think this still has the same benefits of having regular grapefruit? Yes, absolutely. Probably just a different variety. This is delicious. Right, cool. <gasps> Go and find your sweet grapefruits today because And you know where to get them, right? At Woolies. Amazing. So cool. Done. So now I've got my beautiful syrup. Here's the one I made oh. earlier. And I want to spoon that into my glass that I'm going to be serving. Okay. Okay. I might have go. not been concentrating. What did all you right. do? Okay, that's all your pits. No, no, that, that's the, your the zest, skins. Your zest, your skins. And then and cardamom, then... sugar, and water. That's the syrup you're making. Okay. Now, all the, I didn't waste all that fruit. This is all those citrus fruit blended up together. Oh, amazing. That's going in there. Jeannie, will you do me the Ooh, that's favor? Nice and, oh, and I also popped it in the Nutribullet. So you're getting some of that pulp that's in there in your drink. Mm. If you can add some ice to the drink for me. Yes. Okay, this one's getting a little. Cool. <laughs> well, and while you're I'm doing that, I'm going to follow obviously. up with some MCC, which is just a South African version of a champagne. You could totally go in with like something like a grape juice, a sparkling grape juice. Um, but I like a bit of fizz, you know what yes, I mean? but no, bubbles are everything. And you're Ooh, getting, you're getting part of your fiber day in with this drink. You really are. No <laughs> joke. Look at this mess that I've made. What is your five a day? Um, we've had five different types of citrus fruits. So what are... Almost five. Oh, so that's your five a day? Yeah. Well, the grape is one of my five. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly fermented in the bottle. Exactly. Yeah, got you. Okay, cool. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I've made such a mess. Now, what we're going to do to finish this guy off, oops, is I've made a meringue using that syrup and a bit of no, egg white. You okay. are so extra. I'm it is crazy. <laughs> Just a bit of pizzazz. Yes. Okay. Meringue air I'm not going to do that one. Then we're going to finish it off. A little bit of this. Just to toast it like a marshmallow. I mean, because everybody needs a blowtorch in their kitchen. Yeah, you can see that colour immediately. And then our drink is done. I'm going to finish these and we're going to end up drinking this at the table. <gasps> Which one had more champagne in I it? want you to try this one. <laughs> it's nice and chilled as well. <laughs> Yay. Ooh. Clem, you just make me a better person. You make Thank me so you. happy. Thank you. Thank you. That was delicious. <laughs> what a fantastic, fantastic, delicious treat. And while I finish all of these, <laughs> yeah. we can take a quick break. I'll see you a little bit later. <laughs>
the fridge. Shut the front door, Winner Home is back. Yes, the fifth season of Winner Home is looking for contestant design duos. Ah! <laughs> and this year it's happening in the glorious cave. If you think you have what it takes to serve up some design razzle and dazzle and have the eye for details, Mm. Then apply now to be one of the design duos, each decorating an apartment in Somerset West. Competing for the title of Best Design Duo and stand the chance of winning the cash prize worth 100,000 Rand! Season 5 of Winner Home is looking for three design duos who will decorate three penthouse apartments on the Pont de Flay lifestyle estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. For details of how to apply, go to winnerhome.tv. This is your opportunity to make a name for yourself in the South African interior design industry and make the stage yours. Apply now to be a design contestant duo on winnerhome.tv. Coming soon to SABC3. The stage is yours! <laughs> Welcome back to Afternoon Express. Now, today we are hanging out with actor and social entrepreneur Tato Molamu. And together in the kitchen, we've created this beauty before us, this yellowtail. We did good. And, of course, my magic potato salad, mm -hmm. which, <laughs> which is interesting. So I wanted to know, because we've discussed your, your film school that's yeah. going up, but you've also got a foundation in your name. Yeah. What kind of work does that do? Um, Tato Malamu Foundation focuses uh, in transforming young minds uh, using creative arts, using theatre, um, just using sports, you know, activity, music and so forth. You know, because of, um, you know, music is also one of those things that kind of like activates the right side totally. of the brain. So uh, we're using all forms of uh, creativity just, you know, let kids just, you know, rebuild their confidence and so forth. Yeah. You know, but it's about the psyche of a young person. Yeah. yeah. You seem so chilled. Like, are you a peaceful guy? Like, what is your, your daily thing? Like, do you meditate? Do you do yoga? Or do you go and slam a boxing bag at gym? Um, <laughs> after I came back from India, I just decided to be, you know, do quite a lot of meditating. I went to the Oneness University just to go for the first time in my life to listen to my thoughts. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of like regather, you know, understand who I am, what am I about? And uh, so for now, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm now working on just not being that guy, you know, not be the angry guy, you know, before, before I respond, I think, you know, I'm not always now on that tag, because I realize that, you know, that behavior kind of like also, you know, stems other things, you know, because, yeah. um, you know, if you, if, if you consume a negative energy, then you give it out. Sure. It doesn't really solve the situation, you know, so always try to be the bigger man. And um, that's kind of like where now I'm at. Yeah, yeah. energy is everything. It is. But I mean, was there a moment in your life when you realized, okay, I need change? Or has this just been your journey and your growth? Um, I, I guess last year, you know, and also because I knew that I'm going to focus now on the business and the foundation. Yeah. And I'm going to be working now a lot full on with people. I needed to, f you know, be in the right space of mind. And yeah. uh, I guess it was just a long time coming, you know, and that's how I found myself all the way in Asia. Amazing. Um, you know, for about two weeks, just, you know, listening to my thoughts, gathering, listening to other people's experiences and learning from them. Yeah. yeah. It's such a powerful place to be when you yeah. know how to silence the noise in your head. Yeah. You know what to listen to, and yeah. you know what your focus is, and you know where you want to correct. be. Correct, correct. Do correct. you want to return to acting? Um, at some point, I will. Yeah. At some point, I will. Because um, I understand also there's, there's greatness that, um, you know, the platform of television gives you. You know, yeah. people are easily relatable to you. And for me, because I want to make such a huge difference in people's sure. lives, um, you know, it's just keeping it. But also, it's still a love for me, you know, still a passion. Yeah. So this year, I'm hoping to do theater more than... And I'm really actually just hoping to be more in theater than, yeah. uh, than television. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's when you know it really is your your yeah, deep yeah, deep yeah, love yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's a diff theater is difficult. It's a lot of hours. It is. It's it is. But it's real. It's you real. Know, you're only as good as your last performance there. Yeah. You know because <laughs> pretty much <laughs> kind of like live TV. <laughs> yeah. So let's really hope this grub yeah, yeah. is good. Can we, would you like to taste and let us know? I'd like to taste, especially the potato salad yeah, I'll because salad first. I like when my mess ups turn into really amazing <laughs> surprises. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna try the fish. Mm. Outstanding. It worked out. That was you. That was all you. It worked out. Okay, I don't know what your relationship um, status is currently, but if ever you have a hot date and you need to cook for a special lady, mm. oh. I feel like this is what you need to do. 
This is exactly what I'm going to do. <laughs> and all you need to do is SMS the keyword <laughs> to double three six five zero. I think it is. And we'll send you the recipe and all the ingredients. Oh, fantastic. Thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you very much. You know, Such a pleasure. For the skills. pleasure. You give me hope that I can be in the ma amazing yeah. in the kitchen someday. <laughs> Thank you so much. Cool, cool. And of course, thank you for joining us. Join us again tomorrow when we bring you a live performance by producer by Lansua, who combines the sounds of hip hop with visual communication to create a truly unique act. All right, today's been amazing. We really hope that you cook this delicious yellowtail and my tater salad at home. Do let us know how it turns out. All you need to do is tweet us. And other than that, good night. God bless. Happy eating. Have a great afternoon. Clover. Another feel-good production.